Okay. Security guards became suspicious of us last time, so we can't stay here for long. But we still have no hit. Think it's a barrier after all? Where'd your enthusiasm from yesterday go? Ah, shut up. The real game starts at two outs. Enough chatting. You should only be thinking about the keyword. The citizens are secondary. He only cares about his own well-being and that of his lackeys. He wants to become Prime Minister, even if it means trampling on others. Fortune, rich people... Hey, can you think of anything based on what you've heard from him? Just try saying anything. It doesn't matter if you guess. Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. Steer? It was a match? What? The Diet Building's a ship? What kind of scenery will that be? The actual building's on land! I can't even begin to imagine what it will be like. 
Well, whatever it is, looks like there are no barriers. Oh, sh shut up! Let's hurry up and go in! Are we clear of the guard's sight? Get closer to the wall, just in case. All right, do it. Anything change? We went in, right? Security guards seem to be gone, but it's difficult to tell for certain. This seems to be similar to what happened with Sis's palace. But this time, the Diet building remains unchanged. Uh, the gate wasn't open earlier, though. Wait, look! Mona's appearance is different. That means we're definitely in a palace. Come on, let's go take a look. How's it look over there? See anything? Nah, it's totally normal. I'll check it out. Huh? What the heck? What's up, Futaba? <sighs> Futaba? Hmm? What is it? <sighs> the hell? Huh? <sighs> Cognition is about, huh? This is bullshit! A country that children can be proud of my ass is completely sunken in his head. If a guy like this stands above everyone, we're seriously done for. This is beyond ridiculous. The same goes for Akechi. He should have seen this scenery as well. Yet he still aided Shido. What in the world is he thinking? Whether it be for glory or for simply a reward, my father died because of someone like this. We gotta sink Shido instead of this country. A palace with not just the center of the distortion, but the entire country sunken. I can't believe there's someone with this tremendous of a desire. Be careful. This will be completely different from past palaces. We're definitely gonna take his treasure. All right. We must put an end to this by December 17th, the day before the elections. Let the infiltration begin. Time to pay him back for setting us up into a trap. Wait. write something.
Is this a show of sorts? Mr. Shido never fails to keep his guests entertained. Indeed. Those privileged enough to be on this ship are all on the winning team. <laughs> what is with these people? Why do they not feel any danger after what they just witnessed? It seems they think no harm will come to them because they're here on Shido's ship. They're not even sensing the danger. Come on, let's make him see what this ship really is.
Okay. That easy, huh? I can tell by your face. Excellent. It's a treasure chest. I found a chest. Guard down. Show we got the clue. How bad this we go? Don't you know? No more art. And that's a look to come. Go down. Done! Let's move on! Do it! I got this! 
isn't it? got a temper. Just act really serious. It should appreciate that. Feel your true form. chest. What do you want to do, Joker?
pieces. Huge doors are obviously suspicious. I wonder what's through here. There are slots to stick in something like a key card. Whoa, there's five of them. 475 people in favor. Zero against. I hear something. Since there is no one against the plan, this bill will be unanimously passed as drafted. Passed? What's going on? Was that Shiro's voice? If this truly is the representative's chamber as written, beyond here must be the main assembly hall. The what now? It's that large conference room that's usually seen on the news. Oh, that thing! Gotcha! So, what are they doing inside? Most likely a meaningless vote. One in which whatever Shido proposes will always go unopposed. So he's doing whatever he wants by keeping only his supporters in there. What do we do to get in, though? Should we find these keycards? Maybe we need some kind of qualification. One that vows to be his follower or swear loyalty. So basically, we need to prove that we're on his side. You sure move on quick. But what's this qualification thing about? Why don't we ask the guests on this ship? That thought never crossed my mind. Asking around doesn't sound like a bad idea. The guests here are the cognitive versions of them in Shido's mind. They'll know any secrets he shared. True. You have a point. That said, the ruler here is that evil Shido. It wouldn't surprise me if they did turn hostile. Right. Yeah, wouldn't they attack us? We should prepare for the worst, of course. But I think we'll at least be able to talk to them. This ship is most likely an Ark loaded with those that Shido believes are worth keeping alive. It'd explain the luxury cruise ship. I doubt idiots who can't even hold a conversation would be here. We can at least gather information. It helps that everyone's wearing masks. We'll blend in even with our attire. He must believe that no one shows their true face to anyone else. Just like him. Well then, let's split up and ask around. Well then.
Indeed. are low here. Is there a safe room nearby? Joker. Still, this is a surprise. All the cognitive guests in this palace seem like real humans. The casino earlier looked pretty real too, but talking with these guests was a whole nother story. You have that right. This ruler's observational skills and insight are off the charts. Shido's a formidable foe. Come on, no need to freak out. I'm not freaking out. I was just thinking it'll be easier to make a plan since they can talk normally. All right, let's put together the information we gathered. Huh, gotcha. You're right. Um, please hear me out. It's no use. I can't keep the profiles of five people straight in my head. I can only remember about two of them. What about you, Joker? Really? Wow! We're up against five people. The politician Owe, a former noble, a TV station president, an IT company president, and a cleaner. We get certification from them and obtain letters of introduction that'll serve as key cards but only go for the cleaner after the other four have been dealt with, right? Whoa, now that's impressive! You go, genius! If we can't remember the details on the VIPs, let's reconvene inside a safe room. All right, let's get this done quickly. Hey! Well, 
now. Okay. Now then. It's me. Sorry, I know you're tired. It'll be a sec, just hear me out. I've decided what I want to do with Shido after going into his palace. We can't let him run free. If there's a heart we gotta steal, it's definitely gotta be his. get it now. I want to avenge you, that's a no-brainer, but that's not it. If we let him run the country, the weak will be totally effed. Isn't it our duty to protect them? Remember when I told you that heroes who lurk in the shadows are boring? Well, forget what I said. Those heroes are way cooler. <clears throat> hey, once we change Shido's heart, no, never mind. Forget it. Let's do it. Let's steal that bastard Shido's heart. I'll do everything I can to make it happen. Thanks for listening to me. See ya.
Hey. Okay, quiet down. Hey, are you sure it's okay for him to be down here working right now? I mean, wouldn't it be bad if a Shujin student walked in and saw him? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Welcome. <gasps> what did I just say? Nah, still fine. Senpai? You, you're not like a stunt double or something, right? Same to you. Wait, that's not my point. Well, are you pleased? I'm the one who set this up. A little surprise from me to you. I asked Futaba to do me a favor. And I asked Ryuji to pass the message along to Kasumi. I knew you'd be wiped out for a while, so I made sure to give you time to recover first. Ah, oh, thank goodness! I'm just so happy! No one cares about my scheme! Well, it looks like you know what's been going on with him. Take a seat, why don't you? No reason to stand around. I'm going out for a bit to grab some groceries. I'll let you all get caught up with each other. So you're Yoshizawa-san, right? Well, what's up? <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you. Yes, nice to meet you as well, Sakura-san. Could you at least figure out whether to be polite or casual? Sh shut up! Don't you underestimate my people anxiety. Mona tells me that you helped him out in that palace a while back. We are awfully grateful for that. Oh no, it was my pleasure. He's usually the one who helps me out. Not only that, I'd promised to repay his kindness to me, no matter what. <gasps> what a refined response. Are we really around the same age? You know, there's something I've wanted to ask you, Yoshizawa. Why were you in that palace in the first place? That's... uh... I was wondering that too. Of course, I'm extra grateful that you saved our leader. But if our plan had somehow leaked, then we need to change our tactics from here on out. It all started about a week ago, when we had lunch together on the roof of the school. Oh, but, but that day's when... I got the feeling that something big was going to take place that day, so... I'm so sorry. I was actually following you the entire time. Wait, we were tailed there? We definitely had no idea about that. It's like night and day compared to when Makoto was following us. I've been considering for a while now. Perhaps I should be fighting alongside you if I have special powers like your senpai. I wondered if an outsider like myself should even get involved. But I couldn't just stand back and do nothing. Oh, it was nothing compared to how much you've done for me in the past. Hmm. 
Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you're not done here yet, are you? Then perhaps I ought to lend you a hand. Well, we could definitely use the additional firepower, but... Senpai? Well, you say that, but... Honestly, we have no idea what risks you would face. Our enemy this time is more dangerous than anyone else so far. Also, we pretty much brought this entire mess down upon ourselves, so... This is on us. We're delighted by the offer, but... We really can't drag you into this any further. Moreover, you have something to do yourself, right? <laughs> I believe I'd be acting selfishly if I were to press any further. Very well. I understand your reasoning. If that's the situation, then I'll wait for you to return. But you have to promise me this. You'll come back safe no matter what. I don't ever want to feel as horrible as I did when I thought you... I really do believe you. It's time I get going. I've got practice today, as usual. Well, be seeing you. Okay. 